This question was asked in Gate Electronics and Communication. We are given a function n of x which satisfies the differential equation d square n of x by dx square minus n of x by l square equal to 0 where l is a constant. We are also given the boundary conditions and we are asked what is the solution to this equation. Now we know the procedure to solve this kind of problems. First we will write in symbolic form this differential equation in symbolic form that is f of d equal to 0 that is the first step then second step we have to write the auxiliary equation then we will find out its roots and from that according to the type of roots we obtain we will write the complementary function and then as the last step we will apply the boundary conditions now this is the procedure we must follow to solve such problems Okay. first we will write in the symbolic form we have d square n of x by dx square minus n of x by l square equal to 0 that means it can be written as d square minus 1 by l square to f of x sorry n of x equal to 0 this is the function in symbolic form now we can write the auxiliary equation let's say we will write in terms of m that is m square minus 1 by l square equal to 0 this is the auxiliary equation we need to find its roots this means m square equal to 1 by l square that means m equal to plus or minus 1 by l so we have found out the roots now we need to write the complementary function here the roots are real and distinct that means the complementary function will be c1 e power minus 1 by l x plus c2 e power plus 1 by l x now this is the complementary function now what we need is we need to apply the boundary conditions let's say first boundary condition which is n of 0 equal to k that means so this is not y this is n of x n of 0 equal to k that means k equal to c1 e power minus 1 by l into x that will be x 0 means that will be c1 plus c2 e power 0 that is c2 now k is c1 plus c2 now we have to apply the second boundary condition that means n of infinity equal to 0 okay. so we know this term here c2 e power plus 1 by l x when n of infinity is taken this term is definitely going to infinity so that if we need n of infinity to be 0 this c2 must be 0 from this condition we will get c2 equal to 0 ok so we have applied the boundary condition that means here k equal to c1 since c2 equal to 0 now this after applying boundary condition n of x will be n of x equal to z1 is k that is k e power minus 1 by l x plus c2 is 0 so the answer is k e power minus 1 by l x